Elizabeth, and I welcome everyone to our session entitled Working with Clinical Research Sites, Strategic Planning and Operations for Sponsors and CROs. I have over 15 years of experience coming from research academic site in various roles, and I will hope to share some of the practical experience with the group, and I hope you will find this useful. Our objective today is to gain in-depth understanding about infrastructure in clinical research and clinical operations in biopharmaceutical companies overall, and specifically at clinical sites, develop skills for strategic planning of clinical trials, perform cost estimation for the project and develop schedule for completion of milestones, establish systems for quality control and monitoring of clinical trials, specifically as it applies to the clinical sites, identify resources needed to complete projects and reasons to outsource if we don't have these resources in-house, identify and manage risks in clinical trials, assign some role and responsibilities for clinical trial, and develop communication plans. Overall, 95% of your success lies with your planning phase as you develop your project plan and subsequently you execute it through implementing various management control tools, providing oversight, monitoring progress, looking for some opportunities for continuous improvement, coordinating your resources, your activities, and your teams. And if you successfully execute, you'll come to closure. You still would look at certain lessons learned, your knowledge management, which could be useful for your future project or the next phase of this study. You would look at your continuous improvement within the company and evaluate your experience with sites and some vendors who are involved in current projects and plan for your next phase or your next project. I want to drive your attention to the project life cycle. So I've taken this diagram from PAM book, which is a guidance book for project management. On the left-hand side, you see list of knowledge areas as they apply for initiation, planning, execution phase, monitoring, and control that relates to the execution and the closing. So if you briefly look at it, you can see that your planning phase consists of various tasks, and they're very, very specific and very detailed. We will go over them with regards to what processes you have to implement at the planning phase and how it ties to the site operations. And further along through the presentation, we will move along with regards to learning of the processes and implementation of your project as it applies to sites throughout the project life cycle. So the logic behind this presentation is how you implement your strategy and apply it to develop relationship with your site, plan your project, plan your operations, how to execute them, monitor and control, and how to finalize all your process groups and come to closing of the project as the life cycle of the project comes to an end. So this was just to orient you throughout what is ahead. It starts with strategic planning. And an overview, we would look at the project planning, project implementation execution, then come to closure, look at what successful projects are about, and summarize. But first of all, at the very beginning, at our planning phase, we need to have drug or device development plan. Development plan is very important because it's a powerful strategic weapon to develop our new product. We have to have it documented and agreed upon among all stakeholders. So this is for us providing us a tool and method how we will manage our product, how we will meet certain milestones, or evaluate our goals and do certain revisions. That may or may not be shared as a whole document, as a full version with the CROs and with vendors. It really depends on the contract and sometimes on a particular sponsor. Uh, 